If we pack our fewer, we're back cracking our last and final Dominaria pre release pack. So let's get cracking. Got our trusty scissors. And right now, Dominaria is at an all time low in value because it's been open so much. But EV of a uh, seal product never stopped us from cracking before. It's not gonna, not gonna stop us now. Let's see if we can actually get this thing open. All right, so we got our packs here, and we got our promo. Let's try to keep it a secret while we cut the uh, cellophane thing open. It'd be nice to get a Karn or a Teferi. So our promo is Kamal's Druidic Val. Kamal's Druidic Val, nice looking foil, although you can see it's got like a line down the middle of it. Is that showing up on camera? Kind of right here, all the way through the card. See that? There it is. Well, that's weird. And our legendary is a Raph, so we got a foil Raph. That's pretty cool. And now that's a good looking foil. Look at that. Okay, so I don't know if these, these have a lot of value. Raph might. People like Raph, but... Uh, we'll see. Alright, so we got six packs to go. Let's get cracked. First uncommon is Skizik. Lingering Phantom. Sage of Latnan. And our legendary is Naban Dean of Iteration. That is a rare. So is that a rare or a legendary? That is a rare. That's weird. I don't we have a rare and a legendary. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so Naban's the only one in this pack. It's both a rare and a legendary. Next pack. Alright, Wizard's Lightning. Board the Weatherlight. Hit the camera again. Sorry about that. Forbearer's Blade is our rare. And now we got a legendary. Ted Yova is our legendary with the planes card and a token. Next pack. Alright, we got a Saga, Song of Frailies. Sanctum Spirit. Precognition Field. Is our rare and our legendary is Whisper Blood Liturgist. I think that's the first time I've cracked that one. Some neat looking art in there. Alright, next pack. Okay, we got another saga. We got Time of Ice. I think that's the first time I cracked that one too. I love that art though. It's pretty cool. And you can see the Killer Not Kjordan Outpost there on the side. See it? Another great card. Fungal Plots. If I can get my camera to focus today, it's not cooperating. Fungal Plots. Wild Onslaught. A rare is Varix Bladewing. So that's a legendary. And look, I guess when you get a legendary, that's also a rare. You only get one. I never noticed that till now. So Varix Bladewing is our mythic legendary. We got one more pack. Fight with Fire, Memorial to War, those Memorial Lands have really not done anything. Clifftop Retreat, alright, we got a Buddy Land with the new art, look at that beautiful art by Christine Choi. Really nice art, look at that, that's the first time I've seen one of these in person, beautiful. And we got a Foil Mountain, a Mark Poole Mountain, I wonder if that's got any value. Uh, people like Mark Poole, including me. And here's our legendary, Slimefoot, the Stowaway with the Swamp, the one that's got Urborg on there. And a Cleric Token with that awesome Seb McKinnon art. Uh, that was a fun pack. I don't know if I had a lot of value. Clifftop Retreat's pretty good. The last pack. Let's see if we can bring it home. One of our last chances to crack Karn, because I don't have much Dominator. Well, that's not true. I got more Dominator to open. I don't know if I think I'm going to move on to M19 after this, or maybe even some Battle Bond. Alright, so... Amaranthine Wall. Damping Sphere, there's the most valuable uncommon in the set. That's uh, helped me get through most of my cracks here. The Antiquities War, we got a rare saga. I think this is one of the first rare sagas I cracked. No, I cracked that Belzenok 
won a bunch of times. And Bayard Stewart of Argive is our last legendary. So as far as value goes, I'm not sure how we did, but let's go over to our top eight and we'll find out. All right, we're back and we're taking a look at our top eight. Looks like our highest value card was that foil pre-release Wrath Capacian Ships Mage, $3.29. With the other promo, $3.11 being the second highest value card, that Clifftop Retreat, like I said, was a good one to pull, two bucks. For Bear's Blade, 89 cents. Uh, Song of Freilies barely missed the top eight at 75 cents. I think not for that foil mountain, uh, Song of Freilies would have been in there. Uh, so our total top eight value, $14.58. Well, the uh, again top eight making up a bulk of the value, especially in these pre-release kits where we're only cracking six packs. Uh, the total value, of everything, twenty dollars and seventy-seven cents. And like I said, by all these uh, pre-release kits, I paid twenty dollars. Uh, so we barely eked out our value, seventy-seven cents. I guess if we get hundred percent value in all these, uh, we had some fun. And this is probably the last Dominaria crack. I may do a, a fat pack or something. But uh, thanks for watching. All these cards are available for trade on Cardsphere, and we will see you next time, Packer.